Hi there everybody, it's UK independent demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm making this card which is using the new Layered With Kindness Cling Stamp Set from the mini catalogue from Stamping Up and the two new punches. This is the Label Me Lovely Punch and the Label Me Fancy Punch. They can be used together or they can be used separately. Today I'm going to be using them together and I'm going to be showing you these new little elements that is at the side of this punch. So let's get started. You're going to need a sheet of Whisper White. This is the Thin Whisper White. And then this is Petal Pink cardstock. This here is 10, point, sorry, 10 centimeters by 14.2 centimeters, nine and a half centimeters by 13.8 centimeters. And I'm gonna start off with the Petal Pink section. I'm going to be using the Happy Birthday stamp here, which is what I used for the first card. But I'm actually going to change it up and let me show you how. So I have my Petal Pink ink because I'm going to be doing tone on tone stamping at the start. And I'm actually going to stamp this onto my background, background piece of cardstock. I'm going to leave enough of a gap around the edge so that I can still use this as my background, but I'm gonna still punch on it. Using a punch, I'm gonna punch this one out. See, it lines up perfectly and punch. And then this here can still be used as my background sheet of cardstock because I don't like cutting into brand new pieces of scrap cardstock. I have a scrap piece of Whisper White just here and I previously used this stamp set again using the Happy Birthday but instead I'm going to go for Thank You For Your Kindness. So I've just got to pop this on the block because I didn't use it earlier. Yep and I made a mess up on the other side with one of the other new stamp sets. so. I'm just double using this. Thank you for your kindness. And I'm gonna be using this punch. Now, like I said, you could have used the happy birthday. I used happy birthday with this one. So what I redid was stamped this and then I popped it into the punch like that and cut it out. Instead, I'm you. Well, you can see here. Instead, I'm using this one. I'm going to pop this one into the punch and punch that out. Okay. This punch layers perfectly onto this one. All you need for the ribbon is the ribbon punch. So I'm going to turn this punch to the side, and I'm going to use this section just here. Because this has a line, it is so useful. You can pop it through and you can follow it back and you can punch pretty straight on there. And again. There we go. And that's the punching part done. You now just need to bring in your whisper white section and I'm gonna pop this roughly where I want it. So that I can see I'm using soft sea foam. And I have this bit here, which is the leaf section. And I'm just gonna work out where that falls. So I'm just gonna do one stamp up to give me the tail. See here, like this one. Yep, so that's fine. So I want to now go either side of it, and I can work out where I want to double stamp over because you won't see it. Okay. And then one up just there. There are 
three little flower parts on this, which are these three here, and I'm going to be using these two with the petal pink. So I'm just going to pop this one there, there, and there, and then the tiny little one there. There and probably there. And that's all the stamping I'm going to do. These are so beautiful, they actually create that texture themselves so you can see that it looks 3D. That's through the stamp set. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do, purely because I made a mess up on the back of here, it's not normally usual but because I made that mess up I'm going to just punch out of the centre of this paper that you won't see a background bit to this. I'm just going to grab my snail and stick that down. Because I'm going to pop it up I just didn't want any shadow of the incorrect stamping I'd previously done. So that will get rid of the shadow, but normally if you've just done it on plain, you know, you hadn't messed up background, that wouldn't be there. Now for this, I'm using the brand new metallic edge champagne ribbon. This is the petal pink one from the um, Parisian suite. And I'm just pop myself a glue dot in there. I'm just going to feed that through, stick it down, and then I'm going to feed that around the card. You see, you could do it purely like this and leave it like this if you wanted to. Now, this bit's fiddly. I fiddled with this bit ages earlier. I'm going to pop this roughly where I want it, which is there. Pull tight. Pop the glue dot roughly under where that eye is, so just there. Keep feeding the ribbon too until it sticks and that's what I meant about it being fiddly so now I know I can just release that off and move it slightly and then that should fit the card perfectly like that. Dimensional underneath my sentiment Up. You'll have to leave a message below actually. Let me know if you prefer this as a tone on tone stamping or with the sentiment just over the top like that. Let me know which one you prefer. I'm really interested actually on that one. Pop some snail and stick this to the background. And again, some snail. I'm going to stick this onto my tenfold card. Like that, you could add lots of Winks of Stella with it if you wanted to make it glittery, but I quite like it like that. I'm not sure whether I prefer the happy birthday or the thank you. I actually do quite like it with the white on the top. I do prefer it like that, but let me know what you think. I'm interested. And yeah, if you want to get the Layered with Kindness stamp set or any of the punches, they're available on my website. If you go over to slimandstylish.com, head up to buy on the header. You can purchase them from my store. Don't forget to use my hostess code, which is on there. And if you do spend over £45, you get a free item from the Celebration catalogue. So don't forget to look for that. And if you want either of the catalogues, just drop me a message and I'll pop them in the post. Thanks for joining me today. If you've enjoyed, do subscribe.
Bye.